Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Rugged Medicine YouTube channel. In this week's video we're going to be looking at the AFPU scale which is designed to assess a patient's level of consciousness. So as I've already said in case you're not familiar with it the AFPU scale is a four um, option scale or a four level scale designed to rapidly assess the level of consciousness of a patient. The beauty of this scale compared to others is that it works on all age groups and is extremely easy to remember and apply. So the first step in AFPU the is A, which stands for alert. In other words, when you approach your patient, you're coming into the same room or area as your patient, their eyes are open, they could be tracking you, they could be looking straight at you, then your scoring is already done. They are definitely alert A on the AFPU scale and your assessment is done. However, should their eyes not be open, should they not be looking at you, not tracking you, the next step will be V, which stands for voice or verbal. In other words, they respond to a voice that's talking to them, a verbal stimulus. So, for example, hello sir, hello ma'am, my name is, insert your name here, um, how are you doing today, or I'm from the ambulance service, I'm from EMS, the fire service, whatever your particular role is, you can adjust. If they then look at you or open their eyes, then they are responsive to voice, which means they are V or verbal on the AFPU scale. Should that not be the case, we come to P, which stands for P for pain or painful stimulus. In other words, you have to physically induce pain in order to see if that patient responds to it. Now, the most common options are the trapezius squeeze, which is the actual muscle that goes down from underneath your ear in that curve towards the outside of the shoulder. That is the trapezius muscle. You can give that a good squeeze. Or you can do mandibular pressure, which is at the back at the angle of the jaw. Um, if you half an inch, quarter of an inch below the actual earlobe in that mandibular joint. You can induce pressure there with a finger that is also very uncomfortable and should cause them to open their eyes um, should they be responsive at this level. Now, this is not very common anymore. It used to be quite common, which is sternal rub, which is just taking your knuckle and rubbing it back and forth, up and down above the patient's or on the patient's sternum. Please do not use sternal rubs. Those are not helpful. Those are not beneficial. So please do not use those. A trapezius squeeze, a mandibular pressure exerted is good enough. If the patient does not respond to pain, to this painful stimulus, then they're automatically unresponsive. In other words, they were not alert. They didn't respond to voice. They didn't respond to a painful stimulus. Um, so whatever your response is, you would simply either note it as patient is A on the AFPU scale, V on the AFPU scale, P on the AFPU scale, or the patient is U or unresponsive. Or if it is a type of um, um, section where you document vital signs, it might simply be that it just says AVPU and you just circle the appropriate letter that Correspond so alert voice pain or unresponsive respectively. I hope this little recap was helpful. If you're familiar with it, of course, you're not very likely to have watched this. To all of you who um, needed to know more, have a look at my channel for other videos about pre-hospital and emergency care. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one. Thank you very much for watching.